What's up, you freaking weirdos? It's your college bro fever here. <laughs> All right, I can't do it. I was trying to make a joke. It's just not working. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all staying safe. I want to talk about the Bungie trailer that got released yesterday. This is just going to be a really short video. And in case you didn't see the trailer, I will leave a link in the description below. And I'm going to play it on a loop in the background, like some B-roll footage here for you. They will be releasing more info over the next few weeks, covering the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter, starting on September 1st. I'm not going to lie, I'm super hyped about it, for the most part. I can't wait to dive into Europa and the Cosmodrome. I want to start throwing stasis around like somebody owes me money. I had to watch the trailer over a few times before it hit me that we might have a problem with stasis. Now I don't want to just drop some speculations out, especially since we don't have all the details yet, but I do have some legitimate concerns, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. It's the PvP I'm concerned about, and I'm not calling for like some mutiny or anything like that. I've seen some Reddit posts that are getting a little out of hand, but I more or less just want answers as soon as possible. Do me a favor though and keep in mind that Bungie is really good at making trailers way crazier than they actually are, or the actual gameplay. This might just be an over exaggeration of what it's going to be like in PvP, but again we don't know. From what it looks like in the trailer, stasis can do area of effect damage along with freezing you in place and dramatically slowing you down. It might only last a few seconds, but in PvP, a few seconds is a long time to wait. What I'm more concerned about is the area of effect. Can it reach through walls like Gemini gestures, or do you have to be in plain sight? I'm going to be pissed if I get frozen from the other side of a wall and then somebody runs around the corner and shotguns me. Which brings me to my next point. It'll probably slow down shotgun rushers that don't think before running into a room and aping, but then again this might slow down their overall gameplay as well, because everyone will be too scared to run in and end up frozen in place. There's probably going to be a lot of annoying ability spams at first, but once everyone gets settled in, we might see more thought out plays where players bait other players and so on. Who knows, this could be a blessing in disguise for more passive players who like to sit back. I didn't like the handheld supernova meta because it got abused too much, but one thing it did well was stop apes when you were trying to snipe. I think this stasis is going to separate a lot of the community, some will embrace it and others are going to call for nerfs. And then again, it does seem like a lot of the community isn't ready for change, just yet. I also think these new subclasses are going to reward the more skillful players and annoy the people who aren't great at PvP. But this is a good opportunity for everyone to get better since we'll all be on the same page with these new subclasses. And don't worry, I'm not being that guy that says get good, but this is definitely a good opportunity to change up some of your mindless playstyles we already have in the game. Don't worry, I'm not good with PvP either. I mean, currently people overextend way too much in Destiny, and they don't get punished for it, which this might actually change that. This, this could be a really good thing. I'm trying to keep a positive outlook on all of it, but I want to know how you feel about it. Do you think PvP is ruined now, or are you going to embrace it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a great day.